the present video solution is the first uh, in the area of uh, ADCs and uh, DACs and the problem is of uh, gate uh, 2006 and it's uh, of two marks and especially this problem is in the area of uh, D to A converters. We'll just read out the problem here. A 4-bit D to A converter is connected to a free running 3-bit up counter as shown in the following figure. Uh, which of the following waveforms will be observed at V0? Okay, and this is the circuit given. V0 is the output and uh, there are four kinds of waveform given uh, like this. There are four waveforms like this, 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 or these, and we have to find out which is the uh, appropriate wave waveform at the output of uh, this circuit. Okay, so we'll uh, see this circuit and what all we infer from this circuit we'll observe here. Firstly this block as shown here is a block for 3-bit counter and it has outputs Q2, Q1 and Q0. These are the outputs. Now where this Q2 is the MSB bit so this is MSB and Q0 is the LSB bit so this is a 3-bit counter output and uh, clock is applied and the clock is positive-ish trigger clock. Okay. Now the second block here is of uh, this is 4-bit DAC digital to analog converter D to A converter. So there are three outputs from the counter but it is having four uh, inputs DAC is having four inputs, but uh, one of the inputs here is grounded. That means this input is always zero and uh, this being the MSB part and this is the LSB part of the input of 4-bit uh, DAC. Now uh, at the output if we observe this is an operation amplifier working in inverting mode and uh, this is the output V0 uh, taken from the operation amplifier. So uh, we have to see what will be the corresponding waveform that will be observed at the output of this circuit. Okay. Now we move uh, here. We have seen that uh, we have these observations like uh, these are three blocks now uh, we make a corresponding table here. This table gives me this first column here in the table is of the clock. When clock pulse one, second clock, third clock pulse and all that comes. And uh, this is giving the counter output. This is MSV part and this is LSV part and this is DAC input, digital analog input and this is the corresponding V0 output. So we will see that uh, how this uh, table help us to uh, do the problem. Now uh, we can observe from here when there is no uh, R0 clock pulse the counter output will be 0, Q2, Q1, Q0, they are all 0 and DAC input also would be 0 and the input, D2 input, uh, this D2 is connected to ground, this, already, this will always be 0 throughout and what is the corresponding output V0, we can find from here. Now the first clock pulse comes, the output of a counter would be 0, 0, 1, the corresponding output input of D to A converter would be 0, 0, 0, 1. 
Okay, because this zero zero one and this d two is zero, so there'll be zero 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 one, and it will give me the output as one. Okay. Similarly, uh, if you go for the second clock pulse, you get like zero one zero 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 one zero. This is two volts. Similarly, third clock pulse. We observe here after the third clock pulse, when we go to fourth clock pulse, that is one zero zero. So, if I make one zero zero, this D two, you know, is already grounded, so we cannot make here. So we have to make this one, and others will be zero. So this makes corresponding to eight. So these digital values, these uh, output values, like four, five, six, seven. They are not present here. Similarly, if you go further for five one zero one, this will be one zero zero one. It will be nine, ten, eleven, eleven, and then uh, uh, after eleven, uh, that means the counter. This all one here, three bit counter. It will reset and it will give me zero zero zero. Again, it will be zero. This is zero. Again. At uh, ninth clock pulse, it will be zero zero one. It will be one, and so on. It will continue. So what we observe here is the voltage here. Levels are zero, one, two, three, and then it uh, goes to eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then it goes to zero, and uh, so on. So we can uh, see the waveform here. Uh, this is say this waveform V here. If we observe here, uh, we can see this is this is zero. This is one, two, and three. There are three steps here. Then after three steps, you go to step number eight. This eight step, nine, ten, eleventh, nine, ten, eleven, and after eleven, it falls to zero here. And again from zero, if you go ahead, it will go. One, two, three, and so on. So it is repeating. So option B here is the right kind of waveform for this uh, particular uh, arrangement of circuits. Thank you.